after exiting through this four mm and pearl and picking up one eleven or silver into the drum tail. Now picking up one eleven or magenta, one eleven or silver, and one eleven or magenta into the drum tail. Like this. Stepping up into the 11 ohm magenta and 11 ohm silver. Picking up one 11 ohm magenta into the round tail. Like this. Picking up one 11 ohm magenta and into this 11 ohm silver. Down through this 11 ohm magenta. Just keep your thread nice and tight over here. Back into the round tail. So we have added the embellishment on the round tails, but on the round tails, we are going to use 11 ohm magenta, and on the pearls, only 11 ohm silver. So here, after exiting through this 11 ohm, this round tail, I'm picking up one 11 ohm magenta, one 11 ohm silver, and one 11 ohm magenta. So here I have picked up these three beads one 11 ohm magenta, one 11 ohm silver, and one 11 ohm magenta back into this round tail. Stepping up into the 11 ohm magenta and the 11 ohm silver. Picking up one 11 ohm magenta into the next round tail on the opposite side. Picking up one 11 ohm magenta into the 11 ohm silver and into this 11 ohm magenta. Back into the round tail. Picking up the same set of three 11 o's, 11 o magenta, 11 o silver, and 11 o magenta into the round tail. Up through these two 11 o's. Picking up one 11 o magenta into the round tail. Again, picking up one 11 ohm magenta into the 11 ohm silver up through the 11 ohm magenta into the round tail picking up one 11 ohm silver and into the next round tail now I'm going to add the same embellishment as I have added on these rondelles to all these right angle weaves with rondelles. So here, as I'm exiting through this rondelle, again I'm picking up one 11 ohm magenta, one 11 ohm silver, and one 11 ohm magenta. Back into the rondelle. Up through the 11 ohm magenta and the 11 ohm silver. Picking up one 11 ohm magenta into the round tail. Again, picking up one 11 ohm magenta into the 11 ohm silver. Down through this 11 ohm magenta into the round tail. Same way, I'm going to add this embellishment to these two sets of right angle beam and come back. So, here I have added the embellishment to all these sets of right angle beam, and right now I'm exiting through this round tail. So, I'm picking up one 
11 of silver and into the next rondi. So in this way, I'm going to add these embellishment to all the sets of right angle V with rondels and come back. Now here you can see I have added embellishment to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 rows of rondels and I have almost finished up with my thread. So I'm going to tie it up and add a new one. So I'm just passing through this thread and tying a knot over here as we did previously into this round tail tying a knot between this thread the thread between the two round tails Up through this round tail, through this round tail, and the next one just cutting it off. And now I'm going to add another thread. Now I am adding a new thread, and I have taken about 18 feet long single thread and I have doubled it up, and I've got about nine feet long double thread. So here you can see. The thread and the loop at the end. Now I'm going to add this thread to my chain and the same way I'm going to tie it up. So here as we were exiting through this one, this one day, so this was the last embellishment that we added I'm just passing through this thread into this loop and done up through the round tail and now picking up one 11 or silver into the next round tail like this and i'm going to embellish add the embellishment to these two rows and come back now here you can see i have added all the embellishment to these round tails and after reading the last one right now i'm exiting through this round tail so here i have picked up one 11 of silver into the 4 mm pearl and now on the pearls we are going to add the embellishment with 11 of silver so back into this 4 mm pearl down through these two 11 of silver exiting through the middle one Picking up an 11 of silver into the next 4 mm pearl. Picking up one 11 of silver into the four m 11 of silver. Down through this 11 of silver into the 4 mm pearl. So, this way I'm going to add the embellishment with 11 of silver to these two components and come back. And here I have added these embellishment with 11 of silver to this row of pearls. And after adding the last one, right now I'm exiting through this 4 mm pearl. And now picking up one 11 of silver into this 4 mm pearl. So this way I'm going to add the embellishment with this 11 of silver to these three components and the next three components. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'm going to add these embellishment with 11 of silver to six more components till I reach the last one over here and come back. 
So here I have added the embellishment with 11 of silver to all these pearls. So you can see total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 silver embellishment over here. And as I'm exiting to this 4mm pearl, I'm picking up one 11 of silver and into the round tail. Now, after exiting through this round tail, I'm going to add the embellishment with 11 of magenta and 11 of silver into this round tail down through the 11 of magenta and 11 of silver. Picking up one 11 of magenta into the round tail. Picking up one 11 of magenta into the 11 of silver and into this 11 of magenta. Like this, back into the round tail. So I'm going to add this embellishment with 11 o silver and 11 o magenta to all these components with round tails till I reach this last row. I'm going to complete it till here and come back. So here I have added the embellishment with 11 o magenta and 11 o silver to all these components with round tail. And after adding the last one, right now I'm exiting through this round tail and now picking up one 11 o silver into the 4 mm pearl and now i'm going to add the embellishment with 11 of silver to all these pearl components and now after exiting through this 4 mm pearl i'm going to add the embellishment with 11 of silver so i have picked up three 11 of silver Moving back into the 4mm pearl. Stepping up into the first two 11 o silver. Exiting through the middle one. Picking up one 11 o silver. Into this 4mm pearl. Again, picking up one 11 of silver into the little 11 of silver and into the next one, like this, into the 4 mm pearl. So, this is the first component on this side. So I'm going to add this embellishment with 11 or silver to these two components and then add 11 or silver here. Moving into this component, then one, two, three, adding 11 or silver here and moving, adding the embellishment on these components. So adding this embellishment with 11 or silver to the nine components. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight and nine i'll complete it and come back so here you can see i have added these embellishment with 11 o's to all these components and now after adding this last one right now i'm exiting through this 4 mm pearl and now i'm picking up one 11 o silver into the 4 mm pearl these 11 of silver added between them and into these 4 mm pearl like this and now picking up one 11 of silver into the 4 mm pearl like this now down to this 4 mm pearl pick 
picking up one eleven of silver into the next four mm pearl again picking up one eleven of silver into the next four mm pearl into this next four mm pearl down through this four mm pearl picking up one eleven of silver down through the four mm pearl picking up one eleven of silver down through the four mm pearl into this four mm pearl like this down through the round tail and now just to give a touch of uh, golden beads as I have used golden beads in the pendant I'm going to use 11 of gold here but if you want you can use the same color as that of this or that I'll be using here that is 11 of magenta but just to give a tint of gold I'm just adding 11 of gold in this row picking up one 11 of gold like this into the round tail down through the round tail and now as I'm exiting through this round tail I'm going to pick up one 11 of magenta into the next round tail again picking up one 11 of magenta into the next round tail into this next round tail down through the round tail again picking up one 11 of magenta into the next round tail again picking up one 11 of magenta into the next round tail into this round tail so here in between these round tails you can see i'm adding 11 of magenta if you want you can add 11 of silver here or as i am adding these 11 of gold here it's up to you but i just want to give it a pinkish look so i am adding 11 of magenta here and i will be doing this till this second last row because here i'm going to add 11 of gold but if you want to add all 11 of fuchsia uh, magenta you can also add this to this row also but i'm going to add these 11 of magenta to 1 2 3 4 and 5 more rows and to this i'll be adding 11 of magenta 11 of gold so i'm going to complete it till here till this row and come back so here i have added all 11 of magenta and to this last row i'm going to add 11 of gold so i'm picking up one 11 of gold into this next round tail again picking up one 11 of gold into the next round tail now into the 4 mm pearl down through this 4 mm pearl and i'm going to add 11 of silver here in between these pearls so adding these 11 of silver into 
into the foreign and pearl. Again, I do 11 and silver here into the small and then pearl. Again, picking up 11 or silver and into the 4 mm pearl. Into the 4 mm pearl. Down through the round tail. And to this row, as I have added 11 or, sil 11 or gold here, I'm going to add 11 or gold here. So again, I'm picking up an 11 or gold into the round tail. One more 11 or gold and into the round tail. You can create any kind of variations by adding these 11 O's. You can add these, all these in same color or in dual color or as I am using three colors over here, it's up to you. So here, now I'm going to add all 11 or magenta. I'm picking up one 11 or magenta like this. So I'll be adding 11 or magenta till I reach this row over here as here I'm going to add 11 or gold. So I'm going to add this to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 rows and come back. So here I have added 11 or magenta till this row and after adding this last 11 or magenta right now I'm exiting through this round tail moving down to this round tail Picking up one eleven of gold into the next round tail. Again, picking up one eleven of gold and into the next round tail. So here we have completed adding these eleven O's in between, and after this into the 4 mm pearl, the 11 o silver, down through the 4 mm pearl, 11 o silver, all these 4 mm pearls and 11 o silver, like this. Into this 11 o silver, 4 mm pearl, 11 o silver, and the round tail. Now I'm going to add all 11 o silvers into this round tail, the next 11 o silver, and the round tail. Again, picking up one 11 o silver into the round tail 11 on silver and the next round tail again picking up one 11 on silver into the round tail 11 on silver and the next round tail so this way i'm going to add 11 on silver throughout this side till i reach this last pearl over here now i have added 11 o's throughout this edge and right now I'm exiting through this 4 mm pearl into the 11 o down through the 4 mm pearl and the 11 o's like this 
into the 11 ounce silver and the gold and pearl. And now again, I'm going to add 11 ounce silver into the pearl, 11 ounce silver and the next 4 mm pearl. And this way I'm going to add the 11 ounce silver on this side till I reach this last pearl over here. And here I'm adding my last 11 ounce silver. Like this, and you can see the look. So here you can see the look after completing this, and we have added eleven holes to both the edge. And here, after adding the last pearl, I'm going to tie the knot. In between the 11 o and the 4 mm pearl. A double knot into the 11 o into the 4 mm pearl and the 11 o silver. And now, after exiting through this 11 or silver, I'm cutting my thread off very carefully. And here, we are done. Adding this neck belt on one side of our pendant, of our rose pendant. And in the same way, we are going to add this belt on the other side. I'll just show you how to start. And then, you can complete it in the same way as we have done here. Friends, on this side, we have used about 29 feet long single thread. First, we took 11 feet long thread, doubled it up. We got five and a half feet long double thread. And then we added uh, 18 feet long single thread. And then we doubled it up and got nine feet long thread. So in all, we used 29 feet long thread on one side and we will be need we will require the same length of thread for the other side so here you can do one thing uh, in the beginning where you can take about 14 feet long single thread and double it up and it will make a uh, seven feet long double thread and you can start with it and then the other uh, 15 feet long single thread you can add later on so you will have to add the thread twice over here so here again i have taken about 14 feet long single thread i have doubled it up and here i have seven feet long double thread and now i'm going to show you how you can start adding it and then adding the pearls and the rondelles so here you can see this pearl you can see this loop and here this pearl i'm just passing in between these two beads passing through the thread between these two beads the 11 o and the 4 mm pearl into the loop and just tying the thread over here into the 4 mm pearl the 11 o up through these three 11 o's and here adding the pearl so picking up one 11 o silver and one 4 mm pearl into this 11 o silver again picking up one 4 mm pearl into the 
next 11 or silver one four mm pearl and 11 or silver and into this 11 or silver so this is the way you can start and now you can proceed further as we have done on the other side the side and complete the chain complete this belt at this connector and i'm going to do this complete this neck belt on the other side this side and come back so friends here we have completed our neck belt on the other side this side and this side we completed in the video you can see the look of the necklace to see the look of the complete necklace with this neck belt and now we are going to attach our connector chain or the class chain this one to our connectors that we have attached at the end of the belt so for attaching this we are going to use these jump rings and the plier just open the jump ring put it in the hole and the chain over here and holding it like this just close it so this is done and press it so this is done in the same way we are going to attach it to the other side Bring up the clasp, the jump ring, open it, just put it in the hole and the other part of the chain, it is very easy to attach. Just close it. And just press this slightly. So, and done. So here we have attached our connector chain. So this is the adjustable chain. We can adjust it like this and the necklace and this chain itself gives a very fancy look from the back to this necklace so this is our necklace our rose necklace the choker style of our rose necklace i have already shown you in the beginning of the video the other versions of this necklace in different in other colors and i also attach this to the tarani necklace that i have shown you let us take a quick look over the other colorways this is the one a tarani necklace here i attached it to tarani necklace and i attached the toggle clasp at the end you can see this and here i have added four layers as we added three we can add one more on the top and so we can make the neck belt with four layers of this neck belt so this is our tarini necklace then i have attached this to our gorgeous rose necklace in this amethyst color you can see the look of the necklace and just look at the clasp i have attached this connector chain and this clasp the s clasp with this chain at the end to adjust the length so this is the look of a rose 
necklace, the choker style look rose necklace in amethyst color. One more. Here I have attached the neck belt again to the Tarini necklace, Tarini pendant. I will share the link of Tarini pendant in the description box. If you would like, you can make the pendant, this Tarini pendant, and attach these, uh, this neck belt or the other neck belt that I, have, that I have already shown you in the video for Tarini necklace that I shared with you previous year. So you can just check it out. So you can see the look of our Tarini necklace, the choker style Tarini necklace with this neck belt with three layers and the same S clasp I have attached to this necklace and one more in this gorgeous cream color. Again Tarini pendant with four layers in our neck belt and here again I have used this chain at the end to adjust the length. So these are some of the colorways and the styles of the neck belt, four layer and the three layer that we have done in the video and different pendants I have shown you. A rose pendant, a tarini pendant. So these are some of the colorways and the styles that you can make in this necklace and I'm sure you will enjoy making this and of course you will enjoy wearing it with your different attires. It looks really gorgeous and it fits very well on your neck. So I'm sure you will enjoy making this and of course wearing it and of course gifting it to your friends and family. So friends, if you like my designs and my tutorials, please do subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to press the bell icon so that you may get notified when I'll upload my next videos. Thank you and Namaste.